Hello there and welcome back to Ryuku East part uh, 16. Uh, last time we were messing around with uh, the English, we'll continue to do mess around with them a little bit this episode too. Uh, the war is not over, Navarra has joined in and they actually have something here. Uh, so that's a bit of a punch in the face so to speak since uh, we actually would be interested in uh, getting into uh, a war of some uh, sort with them. Uh, as soon as we had finished the English one, of course, and uh, I also believe Navarra is allied with... Uh, nope, they're not allied with uh, England. No, with Castile, which was why I didn't want to attack them straight on. Castile is uh, something that we will be uh, considering attacking. These guys are actually ready to uh, march on the English here, so we'll just go ahead and do so. And uh, we'll have to see how this war turns out, but as you know from now, I don't really have any... Uh, any concern that we'll, uh, we'll lose this war, so I'll just go right ahead and uh, keep fighting it. The Battle of Loango ended in a victory, and with the English running uh, even further into their own lands, we'll of course chase them down and uh, try to take him out. As you see, we will actually be able to just get a little more point of, uh, of upgrade, so to speak, but it seems that we'll actually lose this battle, or perhaps not. There we go, we actually won it, uh, as you can see, with a lot of rebels. Uh, as a reward, so to speak, and well, I think we can actually hunt down those Englishmen, so we'll uh, we'll just stand here for a while, and uh, we'll also send some troops over to, uh, over, uh, let's see, they have actually 40 big ships here, uh, where is our fleet? It's parked over here, we'll go ahead and, uh, and try to attack them, I don't think I can hire any, uh, I can try to recruit an admiral and see how it goes, but I believe the English ones are better. Still, we need to upgrade our fleet, so uh, this will be an interesting battle. But as you can see, we are, yeah, we are outgunned. So yeah, that is uh, that's quite terrifying. So, but with this, we can now rebuild our fleet. We do have get gotten some war extension now, exhaustion. Sorry. So we might want to uh, to try and deal with that. But for now, we'll. Uh, We'll have to be careful on the seas, we'll probably do a uh, center fleet over here. Uh, we still should probably try to get a deal from the Hanses, there we go, we actually got uh, what we wanted. A peace deal, or so to speak, where, uh, or, sorry, a military access deal where we can actually uh, now use their, uh, their land as a harbor more or less. Uh, I'll actually just go ahead and send these uh, troops home. Seeing as they don't really serve a uh, purpose standing here, and we can uh, probably send another army to deal with uh, with anything else that pops up here. But for now, we'll send 30k men to Ireland, probably, or we'll land them in Scotland, and uh, and try to siege the lands there. Perhaps try to force a peace that way. Uh, if we go over the north here, I should we think we should be all right. Just make a little stop in the, at the Hanses. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to try that and see if we can actually pull it off without uh, losing our fleet once again. So uh, fingers crossed. Wow. Yeah, this is actually uh, kind of unsettling that they could just spawn that amount of rebels uh, that fast. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to try and finish this war quite uh, quite soon, really, and. Uh, without getting into too much trouble ourselves, but uh, I'll go ahead, deal with the rebels, and basically sort out England. We have unhappiness among the clergy, which basically is go narrow-minded or lose a point of stability. We'll uh, go ahead and lose that point of stability. And Navarra still has some unreasonable terms for us, so uh, we'll not agree to those. And we'll also get hired a new diplomat now, level five, no surprise there really. And I put him into, uh, into work. I don't really know where it is that I gained uh, the amount of uh, the mind amount of attrition right now, so uh, I'll have to do a little check and uh, find out where and how and uh, sort that out quite quite quickly, really, because this is uh, this isn't a good situation for us. Still, I think the English are gaining more, seeing as we are they're actually losing attrition, I think, but still. Uh, as you can see, we still have them quite beat in troops, so if we land in England proper, we should be able to to take them out without uh, too many problems. We simply have to wait for our fleet to get to uh, to the army pickup location. 
It seems the English actually dropped up some troops up here, but still we have our own fleet, so we should be able to counter it. It's just one K-man, and it's actually just a single flute. But still, uh, we'll go ahead, drop our army off here, and have them deal with uh, deal with these uh, English bastards, more or less. And uh, yeah, we'll send. Yeah, let's see here. We'll invest those. Uh, few ducats and apparently there you can see one of the bugs in this game where uh, where if you split an army on a boat they'll actually just vanish uh, just like that boom gone so that is kind of bad a uh, couple more rebels we uh, will just put <laughs> we'll just pick up these troops deal with the the massive English army here and once we have we'll uh, We'll probably just get, like, we actually got a, uh, as you can see, a uh, a border dispute on Huron. Uh, not the best place, could have gotten one in Africa, would be more beneficial. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead, dump them down here in Moose Cree, seize it, and then, uh, and then go up against them, more or less. Once we've actually taken back all here, we'll... Uh, We'll make our move and over to England proper. Uh, right now there aren't really that much I can do. There are some rebels here that I can deal with, but uh, it should be an easy, easy to do. Want to battle against the English again? It costs quite a lot to do so. Uh, this has apparently become a, or was all the time probably, a uh, full English uh, colony. So, but seeing as England are actually superior on on the sea, we'll probably go ahead and get go for a white piece or something once we actually. Uh, actually sort this battle out and then we'll probably declare war on uh, someone up here, someone we have a CB on, Huron perhaps or someone else probably Navarra sooner or later or two but uh, for now we'll just go ahead and declare peace uh, lower, lower or uh, our uh, we'll keep this guy for his administrative skill for now uh, uh, simply to lower our war exhaustion again I'll have to be more careful in uh, in future wars, but uh, yeah, we will raise taxes even higher, and hopefully it will allow me to uh, to make things a little bit easier on myself in uh, in the future. We'll get some uh, we'll get some deals with uh, people that are on the English mainland, and thus we'll be able to uh, hopefully make uh, make things a little bit easier on ourselves in uh, in the time to come, so to speak. Still rebels in Africa, which should be quite easily dealt with. We'll probably declare war on Tripoli, simply to uh, make sure that we don't stop burning uh, infamy. And other than that, there aren't really that much we want to do right now. We want to just take this one, then make a favorable peace with uh, the English, which just lost 11k troops again. Um, as you can see, we will beat them in battle, but the problem is on the sea, so if we are lucky, we will be able to... Uh, Sneak our armies to uh, to their neighbors uh, before we actually uh, before we actually do something. Let's see if they will actually accept giving up these lands. Nope, they will not. Do we actually have the religious liberation that we actually wanted to use in the first place? Cannot use that either. Will they accept a white piece? Nope, but they'll probably send us one. Yeah. So uh, although this war has been big waste of time, money, manpower, everything, we'll simply have to go for a white piece now and uh, fight it smarter next time, we'll uh, place some troops over here, we'll start bribing Cornwall and uh, yeah, and Leinster here, they're both vassals though I think, no they're in their sphere of influence, but still we'll start bribing them uh, simply to uh, to gain a landing place for our troops once they actually get over there, we'll also probably declare war on uh, these guys to uh, to just uh, have some uh, infamy to burn. Tribal conquest, religious. We can actually do this one and take an extra. I think we simply have to wait till uh, the peace deal is up, which is in two years' time. So for now, we'll deal with the rebels. Try to lower our uh, try to lower lower our uh, our war exhaustion and uh, basically try to sort out any problems that we might have with. Uh, with anything really. These two troops here will be uh, staying in uh, 
over here I think I have to find out which troops are currently causing attrition and uh, I think I'll do so straight away no one in South America there are a couple ones here but that's basically just rebel hunters I think 24k men these guys uh, yeah so as you can see I'll deal with this and allow our uh, our war exhaustion to slowly but surely uh, go down and uh, it should make things a little bit easier in the long run too bambook there there as you can see all of them are basically uh, staying in good lands should probably move those guys now we'll let them stay and just put a leader on that one see I think they'll be able to stay without so we'll just put a leader here there we go and other than that there aren't really that much we want to do we will deal with these rebels that are over here and on Havana but other than that there aren't really that much we can do now except for wait till uh, war exhaustion turns down a little bit these guys will uh, will stay up here for uh, for the next war against England basically hopefully uh, so yeah things will be interesting we'll be building uh, a bunch of forts I think we have some yeah we have some fort building to do as you can see and I should also probably focus on naval for now simply to uh, no wait the stability we need to get stability up to plus three again let's see here uh, six and a half thousand it will take a little while or a little bit one third of a year and uh, once we have stability back up we'll uh, we'll try to make another attempt and see how it goes border friction against Morocco will probably be uh, be used and uh, we'll probably act on it as I said and uh, take those two provinces for uh, for cheap uh, other than that we are more or less being uh, having dealt with most of our rebels right now some of the rebels like this one are actually taking some time to get to which gives some opportunity we did lose a bunch of ships as you saw also last time we will wait a little bit with uh, rebuilding them as you can see build times are quite steep right now but still we'll start with one here and one there and uh, Simply slowly try to rebuild our fleet again. But as I said, we'll move on Morocco right now and do a border friction there. I like with Kanemborno. Uh, so it's it's not too great, but still. I think they'll get Truce Breaker if they actually act on that. And they'll still be... Uh, they'll still be... Uh, they'll still be animist afterwards, so it doesn't really matter. We'll move these guys to, <laughs> to Zeus and then we'll... Uh, attack them stability increase uh, yeah we wanted to improve our naval tech simply to uh, to get better ships we'll like uh, get it to level 22 I think and or 23 I'll have to see we'll probably get it to 21 or 22 depending on what gives us uh, I think the galleon is the next uh, next level of uh, of high-end ships so to speak uh, battleships let's see here caravel and then we get probably it probably see the bark I don't know we'll uh, we'll have to see but after that we'll go for uh, we'll go for government tech as I said we wanted to do a war against Morocco I <laughs> just forgot to actually uh, declare it still there we go war declared we are uh, I think we should win this without too many problems they have <laughs> they have about the same level of war exhaustion, but still, if we just move our troops fast in, we should be able to siege and win quite fast. Did not really expect Conan Borno to uh, join in. Um, and Tess became the new war leader, which is kind of a surprise, I guess. Still, I find it fun out though or how some particular lists are stronger than others. But uh, I'll go ahead and win this war, and uh, then we'll see what we'll do after that. Naval Tech 17 been reached, which gives some more morale, which is basically something that we were lacking against the... Uh, well, except the Conan Borno one, we'll decline the other one. Uh, morale that we were lacking on the seas against England. Uh, we have a war for these two, I think, so it should be alright. I'm just trying to hunt down and destroy a one of their armies here. Uh, Mantez probably wants to make a peace, but will not uh, accept that. And there we go, they took some more. Uh, war exhaustion is going up for them. Uh, quite high really but uh, we'll go ahead and try to make a quick siege of uh, of this province here and uh, with that we should be able to uh, to make some uh, some profit over here as you can see there are only two provinces left to siege here before we actually have uh, complete control of uh, South America and well we'll uh, actually go ahead and 
pay that. It's just a little. It doesn't really matter. We're still making quite a lot of money a month. Uh, a year, sorry. Uh, no, we'll decline that one too. And, uh, well, what we basically want to do now is fight the war. I actually sent these guys through the desert. I just realized, apparently. Forgot that I didn't have a, uh, a deal with... Uh, with uh, the English that would have allowed me to uh, to travel through the lands, my bad. Uh, still, hopefully, I'll be able to destroy these rebels, and uh, basically, we'll be fighting this war and try to win it without too, too much fuss. Otherwise, there aren't really that much we want to do right now. We are basically set to conquer Africa sooner or later. With uh, my plan to move against England, it simply requires some, requires some time and. Uh, Patience, rebuild my uh, rebuild my fleet and so forth. But uh, in the end, I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to take down England if we just move into the mainland, pl pluck down five of the provinces here. I'm pretty sure that we'll weaken them considerably, even if we just take Ireland, for example. But I'll probably go in and take Norfolk, Essex, Oxfordshire, and uh, these five here around London, simply to create problems. For we also have uh, these this cast spell is still so hopefully it will uh, it will hold out a couple more years we'll also simply uh, send a warning so uh, we can be called in earlier because I believe I'll place those troops in those lands pretty soon if uh, if not for the English troops that will slow me down as you see the building time for the ships is going down too so uh, we'll simply have to wait all in all even though the f war with England failed uh, horribly we, uh, we're looking quite good, really. We're, in my eyes, we're looking set to uh, to move into new lands to try to make some uh, progress for ourselves and uh, slowly but surely take over Africa and then the rest of the world. So, uh, thank you for watching this episode. Please leave a comment, some praise, criticism, anything really. Talk about how I messed up against England in uh, a naval battle that really came at 50 years before its time. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.